Once there was a woman who lived in a village in Egypt. She was so beautiful and wanted true love in her life and marriage and a family of her own. However, she had a lowly reputation as she was of sinful nature and had relations with many men as her family was quite poor. She had to forget her dream life because her family was in debt and poverty. One day there comes a handsome prince who went on a stroll, disguising him into an ordinary man. This beautiful woman was standing in the market waiting for a customer, but at the moment this prince was eagerly watching her as she was so beautiful to behold. The sinful works did not veil beauty and shine. The prince came unto her and she was happy that a customer had arrived. But the prince had something else in his heart towards her. Men in the company of the prince tried to stop him, but this woman appealed him. She took the prince to the bed and began to remove her clothes. The prince put the clothes on her and covered her head and made her sit on the couch. The woman was stunned to see such behavior of a man. No man has ever treated her in this respect manner. Everyone treated her as trash and used her and threw money at her. But today was a different day. She was covered by a man for the first time. Tears rolled down her cheeks and she felt ashamed of what she had been doing. But the prince kept looking at her and marveled at her. He saw her in compassion and gentleness. His eyes blazed with love. This compassionate look was never seen by the woman ever in her life. She was stunned to see the grace in his eyes. The prince asked her why she had to do all this. She answered, My family is in debt and I don't have a father and I have to look after my family. The prince answered, Why do you say you don't have a father? Your king is your father. You should have come to the royal court to seek help. The king would have surely rescued you from your debts. Why did not you trust that your king is good? Our king, my father is a great king who has a large heart. Why did you not trust that your king is compassionate? My father, who is your king, is so generous that he would give you more than that you ask or think. Why did not you trust in his generosity? Your king loves his children, says the prince to the woman. The woman was shocked at the great compassion shown by the prince to her. The prince gave her five hundred shekels of gold and went away. This gold was more than enough to completely wipe away all the debts and her poverty. The woman left the sinful life and bought two fields and began to work on the fields. The woman worked hard and all the members of the family accompanied her. Her sinful nature was gone and she began to prosper, though some men still tried to torture her for her past life, but the compassionate eyes of the prince brought her out of the condemnation. She began to miss those gentle eyes that blazed with love of the prince. Unbeknownst to the fact, she had fallen for the prince. On the other hand, the prince used to keep an eye on the woman. The reporters of the prince said that the woman had bought two fields and worked really hard on her land. The prince was happy that the woman used the gold wisely and made money for her living and family. He also could not forget her and her face did he remember even after many months after they first met. His yearning became desperate and they both wanted to meet each other. She prayed to meet her beloved. One day the prince came to her in disguise as a beggar. But the woman immediately recognized him and was glad to see him. This happened regularly, he would disguise himself and come to her regularly. They began meeting each other and they had so much love for each other. Now they wanted to spend their life with each other. They wanted to marry each other. This news came to the king. The king was so delighted to know that his son was in love. The king asked his son next day about the woman. The prince told him all about the woman and how her generosity changed the life of this woman and how her life was transformed into a virtuous woman. The father was happy to know that his son was now capable of becoming a king who is great, generous, and compassionate. His father was at rest about his son. The prince married that once sinful woman and after his father was dead, he became a great king who reigned with great love for his people and his heart was as large as the sands of the seashore. They were the fairest and the most loved royals who ruled and the kingdom prospered greatly in righteousness and in love.